Alrighty, folks, what's going on? So as you can tell by the title, this is uh, we're going to be looking at specific Linux gaming tools. Now, a lot of times there's like, you know, you hear about this, there's no alternatives, there's no this, there's no that, there's no official this, no official that. On some of that, you're going to be right. So there's going to be a few different applications that I'm going to make some suggestions for. So the first one, obviously, is going to be if you want a game, just go use Steam. You know, that's like the default for pretty much PC gaming in general. But what if, what if maybe you have a big Joji collection? Or maybe you have a big Epic Games collection because of all those free games they give out to each their own. So the replacement that I'm going to recommend because there's no official client on either one for GOG or Epic to manage your library. Epic and GOG is done by the Hero Game Launcher. This ties into the Epic Game Store. So here's all my Epic games. Here's my GOG games. They have nice little things like a uh, wine manager where you can download whatever current version of wine or you can want wine Lutris if you want or Proton GE, etc. So there's nice little things like that, which obviously, as you can tell, I got to upgrade mine, uh, my, my Proton stuff. Um, another one that is a nice little addition is uh, Proton Up QT. This one does the same thing as Heroic's Wine Manager, except for this does it for everything that's currently installed. So you can go to Steam, add a version, and then it'll pull down the latest Proton Up. And you can even do Proton TKG if you want. Um, you know, it, they add a lot to it. So then you have all these versions to select from. So if a particular game runs on a particular version, you can do that. Um, nice little feature that they have is like in this particular one, show game list. This usually takes a minute because I, I got some drives and stuff, but it's like Tomb Raider that you can go through and individually use and select which one you want, which is really cool. So there's that. Uh, this allows you to manage Lutris as well. This allows you to manage the heroic stuff. So if you just want one app to manage Proton stuff, this is probably your app to get. Um, really nice, really quick, really clean, and great way to manage new and old versions of Proton, you know, because you can, you know, remove stuff fairly quickly. Uh, that, so we got heroic, we got Steam, and we have... Proton up QT, uh, green with envy, uh, the, <laughs> the NVIDIA X server settings app is, um, basic at best. So what this allows you to do is change everything you want. You can control your fan curves like you do here. You know, you can have your auto, You can have your BIOS controlled one. I have a normal profile. This gives you all your information. You can change your wattage, your power consumption, all that stuff. And it's it's not hard at all. Um, and there you go. Show, you can go to preferences. This is very much a, a GTK app on QT. So it doesn't always look the best, but hey, you know, whatever. Uh, I don't have this launch at login, but you can change a lot of stuff to your NVIDIA card. So there is that. Uh, if you are a AMD person, uh, I'm going to recommend Core Control. So this particular machine runs a Ryzen 7 2700. I don't know why it doesn't have the X, but whatever. Um, this allows you to control your AMD system, basically. So if you had a G GPU, it would give you all the profile stuff you can control. So like you can go and change the performance scaling and all that fun stuff if you so decide so amd core control is your way to go honestly next up uh fraps is a thing everyone likes to you know benchmark their systems well this is the thing that you're going to see a lot on the steam deck this is mango hud aka goverlay goverlay is the thing that allows you to point and click and use mango hud without knowing and using config files definitely recommend it uh i would recommend 
global enable so that it is just easier um, for Vulkan based applications and you can default and have a toggle key on and off. So you can change your visualization, you can change all your settings and all the stuff that you'll see here if you want and what have you. You can go in here and change everything. You can go to grass if you really want. So you can go to this, you can go to complete, which will in this case it'll show all your CPUs, all your GPUs, like all your information. A little too much for my take. I'm more of a compact kind of person as far as what I like. Give me, you know, I just need basics. You need to see dips and all that stuff as far as whatnot. Um, there's also a few other tools, Replay Sorcery and uh, VK Basalt. Uh, this is... Uh, it's basically AMD Super Fidelity FX across the entire system. It, it, it That's like bare bones as far as what it is. Um, but it, it adds a lot of different effects to everything in the in games and stuff uh not something i generically play with but if you want to mess around with that you can replay sorcery the mm, i don't really use it this is basically you know if you want to capture gameplay replays and stuff whatever do your thing and so that is basically a fraps replacement uh open rgb uh i do not use a lot of this kind of stuff because it, it's just not my my take I have very budget taste when it comes to my hardware as far as like mouse and keyboard stuff. So like I use a bunch of Red Dragon stuff, which is genetically cheap, but this allows you to mess around with your RGB colors and whatnot on your devices if you so decide to. So there's that. Uh, polychromatic. This is basically allows you to do something similar to open RGB, but this is mostly used for open razor and razor applications and that kind of stuff so this is essentially the linux version of razor's synapse app um just not synapse and shitty uh another one i'm going to recommend is noise torch now there was a current issue with noise torch but you know whatever i hold off on most of my updates for a while anyway what this does is it applies a uh a filtering so a lot of the like the typing and the background noise and that kind of stuff you can change out uh and so like if i wanted to load this the filter onto the blue yeti or blue snowball which is this is not but just load that and then you go into your sound settings and what will show up is noise torch for blue snowball mono source like in that case so if you go into like OBS, you would select that source and it applies that filter over your microphone, or you can do it on a per application basis, like uh, zoom or whatever app you want to use. So there's that. And then we have Piper. Now Piper doesn't detect any devices because they're not supported in shotgun surprise. Um, this is basically allows you to configure your mouse and reconfigure where the keys and key bindings are and what like all the side buttons do and all the other fun stuff. So again, really basic app, but it allows you to do what you would want to do and configure your mouse, your DPI, all that fun stuff. So that's just a quick rundown of what apps you're going to want when it comes to hardware configuration, RGB, uh, managing some of the stuff that is more uh, not so much in your face um, that a lot of people tell, oh, it's it, it's easy to do this. People want the pointy clicky stuff. This is the pointy clicky stuff and the quick way to do it. So here are all your gaming tools on Linux that you will need just to get going. Oh, and there's one more that I want to mention. If I can find you. If you're on Ubuntu, and the default gaming experience on Ubuntu, uh, quite frankly, is trash. There is this particular app that I want to recommend, which is called Gamebuntu, which Steam, OBS, you can download all of these individually or together, and this will get your Ubuntu system ready for gaming without all the, the nonsense and needing to know what you need to know for all that nonsense that it requires because uh ubuntu it, it does not have the best 
out of the box gaming experience, unless you decide to do just that. There is another shout out I do want to give, which is to the uh, to Budgety Welcome app, which is right here. So their welcome app is a snap. So, you know, complain for those that will. But this is a nice app because it pulls down a lot of the stuff that like the Game Ubuntu app does too. Uh, but this is in the welcome app as well. So you get things like Lutra, Steam, RetroArch, and Mini Galaxy. Uh, for those that don't know, Mini Galaxy is a... The best way to describe it is manage your GOG library, but specific to GOG. Personally, I would only use it to use and install Linux native games and manage your GOG library with Linux native games that way. There is a wine integration into it, but it, it's finicky at best. Um, there is also other tools like Piper, CPU frequency applet. So this is pulls in uh, just an applet right here. You can click and change your performance, open RGB, polychromatic, Embracer, Discord, OBS, GoVerlab, Mango Hug, Core Control. Uh, and they also have a nice little mix of game recommendations for you as well. So there is two tools outside of the actual apps that I would recommend you go and try. So that will give you a good idea of what to go to when you need to do uh, anything when it relates to really Linux gaming or if you have that Steam Deck. So you can get all most of these apps on the Steam Deck as well. So you guys know what to do. Rate, subscribe. Peace. I'll catch you on the flip.